Police call it a domestic dispute turned deadly. A Jones County man allegedly shot and killed his wife in Warner Robins early today. Molly Jett went to Houston County to explain what happened. Warner Robins police say the domestic dispute ended here in North Warner Robins. Here at the 100th block of Wallace Drive, a truck and a car collided, crashed and ended up down here behind those trees. And it's behind those trees in Dolores Tolliver Park property that the shooting took place. Dolores Tolliver Park seems quiet these days. Kids don't come out like they used to. Milton Walker Sr. lives around the corner. It really uh, didn't strike me as this ever happened this close to me, but you know, the crime's everywhere. The shooting took place just after one Thursday morning. Detective Tyler DeGiorno says Alexander Fisher shot and killed his 30-year-old wife, Christy Fisher. EMS rushed her to Houston Medical, where she died. He became suspicious of where she was and what she was doing and came to Warner Robins to attempt to locate her. And by sheer happenstance, found her on the west side of the city and began following her, which led to the uh, aggressive driving incident. Christy had been driving with two people in the car. Del Giorno says Alexander rammed his pickup several times into her white sedan. After the crash, he says Alexander shot her outside her car with a 380 semi-automatic handgun. Once he began suspicious of an extramarital affair, he drove to town and attempted to find them. And once he confirmed that she was indeed with him, that's when he began to grow irate and the incident ensued. Police arrested Alexander at the scene and charged him with murder, aggravated assault and aggressive driving. Didn't used to be like this in this neighborhood. Police say the man who could have been having an affair with Fisher left the scene last night. They have not been able to interview him or talk to him just yet, but they say he is not in danger or a danger to the public that he is listed as a victim in this shooting. In Warner Robins, Molly Jett, 13 W Amazing News. Christy Fisher was 30 years old, leaves behind four children. DiGiorno says the couple had been married for nearly 10 years in Jones County. Her body is headed to the Macon GBI crime lab.